when it comes to the looks of a sedan. Nothing truly tops the design of traditional three-box layout, a nice long hood that's separated from the greenhouse and with a proper deck lid honestly beats. That four-door coupe style Mercedes has been using frequently. That's why we welcome the 2020 for Merced. E-Class Luxury Sedan with Open Arms. As it still modernized that timeless look without ruining what makes it work so well. And remains functional, it is also, by no means. Just a bit of bodywork or just a set of new lights and a grill. The 2024 E-Class doesn't look longer. But the wheelbase has grown 0.87 inch longer than the 2023 version to its new 116 inch length. Despite that. The proportioning done by Mercedes engineers and designers makes the E-Class look not much. Functionally different from its previous generation, the short front overhang and long hood hides most of that extra length. But this body also belies the additional cargo room in the trunk, now at 19 QFT of space. Even with this additional length, the E-Class has a turning circle. Again, the body proportions hide the larger trunk area, which its deck lid does look smaller from the side. But this is thanks to its greenhouse flowing into the rear quarter panel so smoothly. You still get the aerodynamic shape at the rear for better airflow and efficiency. But don't fully get that controversial coupe design we've been seeing from Mercedes. It's a nice blend that also helps to extend the rear portion of the rear passenger area as well. This design allows the E-Class to slip through the air with a coefficient of drag of 0.23. Even as the frontal area of the 2024 is 0.02 QFT larger than the 2023 model to 0.5 for QFT on the new E-Class. This is the new Mercedes, not a BMW.